Now you've seen him in Fight Club, the Rocky Horror Picture Show and Wayne's World. But Meat Loaf made his name long before his acting days as a musician. His 1977 album, Bat Out of Hell, has so far sold over 40 million units. And still, every year, he sells around 200,000 more. He was in New Zealand today, talking to the music press about his new record. David Farrier went for a chat and took along a gift. Sausage meat, 500 grams, 500 grams of mince. Mm. This story begins in the kitchen of New Zealand's most well-loved cook, Alison Holst. Your favourite thing about meatloaf? Tastes good. Everyone likes it. Holst made her very first meatloaf aged 23. I'd hired her to make a meatloaf because, frankly, she's the best. It's beautiful, Alison. How does that look? An hour later, across town... Um, one of New Zealand's best bakers, um, Alison Holst, made you this meatloaf. That's one of New Zealand's best. I don't eat meat. This is a disaster already, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yep, turns out Meatloaf doesn't eat meat. He's a vego. Still, he picked up the tomatoes and then a dream came true. Meatloaf fed me meatloaf. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Meatloaf is a Grammy Award winning rock star who values being a rocker. The best compliment I've ever had. Meatloaf has more rock and roll in his blood and his bones than anybody I've ever met in my life. And that is true. And that even goes, that even goes back to doing Plain and Fancy, a musical about the Amish as opposed to playing baseball. That's right, at school Meatloaf, in those days he was called Michael a day, dumped the baseball team for a musical. He told me that's when he knew he was a rock star. Because that's what rock is. It's about standing your ground, about being rebellious, about not being a sheep, about being who you are, and about being truthful to who you are. He says that attitude is all over his new record, the oddly titled Stay Cool Teddy Bear. I heard it today and thoroughly enjoyed it. It even has Hugh Laurie from House playing the piano. Meatloaf from Bat Out of Hell to Fight Club. The mind boggles. Is there anything this man can't do? Well, before he left, Meatloaf did admit Dancing with the Stars has approached him three times. My wife goes, you can't go on that show. You can't fucking dance, you know. And with that, it was time for Meatloaf to go. His record label left to fight over the Meatloaf. His success understandable, but still a little mysterious. What do you put Meatloaf's popularity down to? Well, I, I always think everybody likes mints. David Ferrier. Three News!